Breaking down the top five running backs in the Pac-12 here at Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football. If you love the game we love, we break it down every day. Best discussion, debate, and analysis with live streams all week. So please subscribe right here. We got Michelle Gardner on the line from the Arizona Republic. And again, we're going to compare our list on the top five backs in the Pac-12 coming back. And hope to have Tony Siracusa on the line as well from Last word on college football. Joshua Kelly, prolific back at UCLA, gone. Zach Moss, he is well, very productive at Utah, gone to the NFL. And Eno Benjamin, a thousand yard back the past two seasons at Arizona State, moves on. So, what do we have left? Well, this is how I've got it Christopher Brown of Cal, almost a thousand yard back there with the Golden Bears, ran for 914, 4.4 per carry, eight touchdowns last year and caught 22 passes out of the backfield. I like Christopher Brown at number five from Cal. At number four, Colorado's Alex Fontenot. Nice season for the Buffs at 874 on the ground, 4.7 per carry, and he caught 27 passes out of the backfield. Um, of course, he's got a new head coach, and we'll see how the offense may change. Uh, less Steven Montanez, Montez at quarterback for Colorado and relying more on the ground game. At number three, Washington always has productive backs. Of course, Miles Gaskin a few years ago was the most prolific in the history of the school. Uh, Salvat Ahmed uh, moves on to the NFL, so he's gone. Richard Newton, when he was given time, when he was given carries, was very productive in the Washington offense at 500 yards and 10 touchdowns. I've got uh, I got to like uh, what Richard Newton could possibly do with the Huskies this year at number three. Max Borgie at Washington State. Now, this guy is kind of a poor man's Christian McCaffrey here. They threw the ball to him 86 times out of the backfield for five touchdowns. Now, Mike Leach takes his offense to Mississippi State. We'll see how Max Borgie is possibly going to be used. It's interesting that he actually tweeted when Leach announced that he was leaving. He gave a very positive indication that, hey, I may get a few more carries now. We may actually run the ball. Uh, he did carry it for 817 at 6.4 per carry and 11 touchdowns uh, at Washington State last year. And my number one back, uh, statistically, is pretty clear cut. C.J. Verdell's been a 1,000-yard back at Oregon the past two years and uh, 1220 on the ground and eight touchdowns this past season for the Oregon Ducks. And he's coming back. Um, to make another run at the Rose Bowl and the Pac-12 Championship. So those are my top five backs. I'm going to go with a newcomer at number five. Again, I don't usually go with newcomers, but because I've seen them, I'm going to go with Diamante Trianum from ASU as the number five. I saw him. He's got good cutting ability. He re really, really looked good in spring, and I know it's spring, but uh, I like what I've seen out of him. So I'm going to throw him in there at five, and you guys can be pleasantly surprised when you see him. Uh, number four, I'm going to go Fontenot at Colorado. I'm thinking he might get more carries now that Steven Montez is not back at quarterback and maybe they need to bank more on his ability. So I'm thinking he's going to get more of an opportunity to show what he can do there. Uh, number three, I'm going to go with Brown. I agree with you. Um, I think that uh, if Cal uses him correctly, he can get some yardage. Uh, number two, I'm going Borgie. I agree with you. Uh, when he when they gave him the ball, he was a workhorse. And, you know, assuming that he's going to get more carries because you're not going to have the air raid offense there, I think he can really, really shine in a new offense. So I'll go Borgie at that spot. And number one, I'm going with Verdell as well. Um, Oregon usually has multiple guys too. So when you look at the numbers, their running back numbers aren't necessarily going to jump out at you, but they have guys that are going to get the job done. And you know, he's playing behind probably the best offensive lineman in the country and probably the number one draft pick in the entire draft next year. Um, the rest of the Oregon line is going to be new, but they're going to find a way to put it together because they always do. So I think his numbers are going to be good because of that as well. All right. Mark Rogers TV with the uh, top five running backs in the Pac-12. Michelle Gardner from Arizona Republic joining us and thank you so much michelle and uh, everybody we invite you as well to leave your suggestions your comments and uh, your feedback on our top five list be kind but our top five list down in the comments section below